Hey everybody, let me get this marquee off the way here. All right, that's for my, my YouTube live, so. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome. It has been such a crazy ass day. It really has, there's just been so much stuff been going on. To say we've been going through some really powerful, immense shifts uh, just today, this whole weekend, this whole past week is an understatement. There's so much going on, there's so much energy in the air, there's so much shifts taking place. Uh, it's it's crazy stuff, man, I tell you. Hey, David, welcome. Hey, everybody, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, those of you may have just seen my recent post about uh, the year 2037, okay? Now, again, I don't want you guys to all hang your hat and say, okay, Brad says this is it, and so this is it. What basically shocked me about this is that talking to my angelic guidance, which again contains three angelic beings in seventh density they're in seventh density as with adronus as well too and basically um these three beings are known as jaziel raziel and oriel and they have been uh, assigned to me ever since i started doing the spirit light codes they've been giving me some really great advice really great confirmations information insight very very accurate um just a lot for my own personal life in that way i haven't really looked at too much into the idea of world events but again, a lot of things that have been happening in my life, there's definitely been uh, a lot of good confirmation with them. So again, this evening, I was just, uh, actually I was watching a Secure Team video. It was quite interesting. And I was just looking into, uh, and I was looking into a couple other things as well too, about the extraterrestrial presence, right? It's getting a lot of leeway, even in the mainstream. Uh, a lot of people are coming forward with this. And as I was just watching these videos, and I was just going into, onto spaceweather.com as well, too. I was looking at the sun to see how the sun is doing as well, too. And when I was on spaceweather.com, I just had this urge. I said, well, you know what? I wonder if my angelic guides have a perspective relating to the three days of darkness. <clears throat> okay, so there's been a lot of people that have come up to me and say, or ask Brad, you know, is it true that we're going to have this three days of darkness? I always say it's a possibility. Spirit says something different. It says, no, Brad, it's not a possibility. It's a certainty, right? I don't like to say that, though, right? I like to kind of keep things in a, in a possibility arrangement because I know everything changes, but from Spirit's perspective, saying, no, this is not a possibility. This is a certainty. It is a certainty that there will be three days of darkness. So that's unavoidable. Again, Spirit's own words <laughs> that's coming through to me, and I just keep shaking my head. No, no, I'm still going to call it a possibility, right? So fine, fine, fine. But I'm telling you, it's a certainty, right? Relating to the three days of darkness. So, <laughs> hey guys, thank you again for being on, on here. So again, I just had this urge to talk to my guides and uh, my angelic guidance. And I said, you know what, have you guys been told by the Divine Mother, by Mother Creator, um, about the three days of darkness and when this is supposed to happen? Did you guys actually get a date? I was actually expecting them to say no. But I went ahead and I tested, and the answer was, mm-hmm, we got a date. What? <laughs> you got a date? What the hell are you talking about? Right? So that really just threw me for a loop. I said, what are you talking about? You got a date? No one's supposed to know when this is supposed to happen. <clears throat> and so I went uh, went deeper with them, and uh, I was basically just doing dowsing, like kinesiology, pendulum work as well, too, because that's the best way that works for me when I'm doing um, these these uh, kind of accuracies relating to years. And so my angels come in very, very quickly uh, and very accurately through the dowsing pendulum process. And I was basically dowsing and saying, okay, is this happened around 2025, maybe, maybe between now and 2025? Nope. Okay, between 2025 and 2030. Nope. Between 2030 and 2035. Nope. Between 2035 and 2040. Yes. Hmm. So it's not 2000, 2035. Hmm. It's not 2036. Hmm. 2037. 2037. Okay. Now, I also did a tarot reading as well, too, relating to yes or no responses. And again, I have my own tarot deck as well, too. I just wanted to get confirmation from every uh, which way I could about this as well, too. 
I was doing even my own personal kinesiology, tapping into my higher levels, getting them to answer you know, my kinesiology uh, question with their energies flowing through me. And the answer too was yes, 2037. Like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and ask the tarot because the tarot is really unbiased as well too. And I've gotten really good accurate yes or no responses from the tarot before as well too. And of course, this card comes up. And that's a very appropriate card, right? Looking at temperance, okay? And for a yes or no response, that is a big yes. So, again, guys, I do not want you to hang your hat on what I'm saying here, okay? Everything can change, as we know. We know about people who are putting dates forward, and, you know, they, they can often lead to disappointment. But from what I'm feeling right now, just from the confirmation of everything, like I said, I was just shocked that I actually got an answer from the angels that they said, there's a date. There's a date now relating to fourth density. There's a date now relating to the three days of darkness. And it is slated right now for 2037. Okay, So that's 18 years from now. <laughs> I've heard some, some uh, funny posts saying, oh my goodness, I'm going to be such an old person back then. I'll be 58 years old when that happens as well myself. So <laughs> I'll be, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll enjoy 58, I'm sure. <laughs> but um, uh, here's a good question from Gladys. Um, or first, let me go to Eric first. Eric says, does he mean literal darkness? Three days of pitch black darkness. There will not be any light coming upon the earth at all. It'll be completely pitch black, other than maybe the candles that you light or something of that way. Uh, but basically, it'll be completely pitch black. Uh, so there'll be no light outside. You won't see the stars. You won't see the moon. You won't see the sun. It'll be completely pitch black. Like I said, guys, you don't have to hang your hat on this, okay? I'm not saying that I need to be the prophet and you guys have to believe me and you guys need to start getting ready to go into your bunkers and all this stuff, right? I'm just simply sharing this as it's coming through in that way. You can dismiss it uh, just as easily as, uh, as it was when I started it, right? Um, Gladys says, uh, what should humanity do during these days? <clears throat> Why don't I bring Adronis in and you guys can talk to him, okay? And Adronis can give some pretty good insight on this as well too, because I want to get uh, Adronis's perspective on this as well. Okay, so give me guys, give me a moment, guys, while I bring Adronis in, and he'll elaborate on this a little bit further. <clears throat> We are here at this time, and we bid you greetings, and thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius. We send love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who are tuning in to this broadcast through your internet collective consciousness. There has indeed been quite a stirring as it relates to what's taking place upon your planet. It's simply because right now you have entered the time of the end game. It is time for the conclusion. It is time for the finality of what is taking upon your place, your own planet, shall we say, to come into a point, a place of finalization, of fruition. There are the, what you would know as, portal systems that we have been talking about. This is becoming more and more prolific upon your planet. Why do you think that is? This has to do with, as we have talked about before, the armadas of the Galactic Confederation that have been coming through your sun, and they are also emerging through these portal systems. They are standing by, and it will be a long mission while they are here. More are on the way. There will be more of these portal systems, yes, that will be opening up around your planet, upon your atmosphere, upon your skies. There will be more ships that will be coming out again, and they are forming a network. There is a particular task force, or task forces, you can say, that are working right now to seal up old portal systems that have brought in what you would know as corrupt energies. These are also looking to be completely taken care of, canceled out. 
There's a lot of work to do upon the earth right now that is coming through all different levels of intervention. From again, the Galactic Confederation, other versions of yourselves to what you term as the future, even your own human alliances as well too. There is a lot of, shall we say, house cleaning being done on your planet right now. This is necessary. So, you have received the particular year as it is currently stated relating to that of 2037. Somebody asks us, well, Adronis, is this what you see as well too relating to the year 2037 to where there will be three days of darkness to where there will be the harvest to fourth density? Most definitely, yes. It is not even really a possibility here. It is actually much more closer to the higher percentages of certainty. Now, we never really hang our hat, as you would say, to a 100% definite. But we would say that this certainly is in the high percentages, within the high 90s of percent, taking place within the year of 2037. So 2037 is the time that the higher levels of the angelic kingdoms who are now going to be passing this around to others that will descend into deeper dimensions to again another form of guides and other dimensions, other beings that will again communicate with others in physical dimensions such as yourselves that may also start to receive the same date. Now again, Brad himself is trying to save face here and saying, well, guys, don't hang your hats on this. And we understand that. We understand that he really does not want that pressure. But again, as we're stating, is that this is in the high 90s of percentages. Of course, everything can change. But right now, this represents the momentum. This is basically as sure as the idea of how your sun will rise tomorrow morning, your time. Everything can always change, but of course, you're going to rise to sunshine the next day of your time. That's quite often. That's quite a, shall we say, high probability. Is there a 1% chance that maybe that won't happen? Well, yes. But again, it really does not affect the momentum. The momentum of where you're going right now is leading you into the culmination year of 2037. This again is what has been received from the higher angelic kingdoms, from the higher dimensional beings, from the ascended host realms, to the Akashic realms, to the causal realms, to the astral realms, and now to you, the physical realm, where Brad is the very first person to announce this. So, there may be those of you that may want to check in with your guides right now. There may be some of you that want to check in with your angels right now. There may be some of you that want to check in with your own higher truth right now. And again, ask about the year 2037 that will take place. The idea of the three days of darkness and the idea of fourth density harvest. We are not telling you this to entertain you. We are not telling you this as a means of a joke or anything of that nature or something just to get you excited. This is what is being decided right now. This is the current slate relating to the three days of darkness and to your time of fourth density earth. Well, Adronis, can this ever change? As we said, there's always momentum. There's always a possibility, but the momentum and possibility of change right now is very minute. So, on the larger levels here, yes, 2037 will be that time. Now, you ask about what should we do to prepare for the three days of darkness. Everything that we have been telling you for the past 10 years of your time is what you're doing. And what that means is work on yourselves, harmonize your emotions, work through your traumas, 
connect with each other, share compassion. Stop thinking so much about yourselves and pass that love to everybody else. You are servants of the Creator. And as you are servants of the Creator, you work upon yourself. You honor yourself. You harmonize yourself. And you start to share this love with everybody else because a lot of people are going to want your assistance. Because a lot of people now are going to be frightened because guess what's going to happen? This video is going to be passed on throughout your social media. It's going to be shared. Other people are now going to start knocking on Brad's door in that sense. <gasps> are you sure this is 2037? And Brad says, well, you know what? It's a possibility. And that's all I can tell you guys. But we are telling you, yes, it is a very high possibility. Well, within the higher 90s of percentages that this indeed is going to be the year of the three days of darkness. Adronus, what is actually causing the three days of darkness? Brad has already told you previously. It is a stargate effect. It is something that will happen with the earth, not the sun, not the moon, but the earth. The earth will invert upon herself in a stargate effect. There will be shifts of the poles, more so magnetically, that will therefore bring about a little bit more of a physical tilt during that time, before and during that time. It is not meant to be disastrous. It is not meant to be catastrophic. But it is something that needs to take place because when your own planet goes to a certain level of tilt, this is what again is creating the appropriate magnetic inversion effects necessary to cocoon itself into the idea where its own magnetic field in that sense becomes a hollow layer. And through this hollow layer, will actually cast out the idea of sunlight, of moonlight, of starlight. It will be like a caterpillar building its cocoon and therefore going into, eventually, the metamorphosis of a butterfly. There will be a lot of people that will be quite uneasy during that time. But you have approximately 18 years to start sharing this with people. So again, this is something that not only that we are sharing with you, but there will be others that will be sharing this information with you as well. They will confirm it as well. They may even say, oh, maybe between 2035 and 2038. No, we're telling you 2037. Not 2035, not 2036, not 2038. 2037 is the current slate that is in the high 90s of percentages relating to when the three days of darkness will take place. That's as close to the accurate year that we are willing to give you at this time. Some people may say, well, Adronis is in the winter time, the spring, the summer, the fall. You'll find out. You will know that there will be many signs approaching that will give you more indication, even in scientific evidence, that the earth could be going through three days of darkness. Again, as we've stated, in actuality, this is a stargate effect. This is the idea of the official splitting of worlds. That's what's taking place. Third density Earth will not be aware that another planet is coming directly out of itself. But again, that's what's taking place. That's why it takes three days. Three days is the planetary mitosis of you moving from one Earth to another. Now, there may be those, some of those, as Brad has also shared, that are bound for fourth density that may not even experience the three days of darkness. Some might, some might not. It all depends upon the person. As we've talked about during this time as well, that around your year in that sense of 2037 to when it takes place around the particular season that it does happen, 
Some of you will basically just be disappearing off the earth, even before that time. There will be those of you who will completely vanish off the planet, even before the time of the three days of darkness. There will be those in that sense that will transition themselves. Their physical third density body will remain behind and they themselves will move into fourth density earth. Their soul moves from their body and there is a body waiting for them in fourth density earth. But this is what's happening. It takes three days for the planetary mitosis to take a full effect and it needs to come together in a stargate effect. This stargate is both natural and artificial. We will repeat that again. This stargate is both natural and artificially created. And it will create a cocoon, a veil around your planet. The cocoon is both natural and artificial. You will be kept inside a black sphere. Just like a cocoon when a caterpillar goes inside. And you will therefore go through these changes, through the three days of darkness. So, for those of you that are indeed caught up within the three days of darkness, we would recommend you stay indoors. We would not recommend you go outside. Well, Jonas, why is that? Because you are going to get blasted with a great deal of energy that may not be so comfortable. Your entire planet during this time will be cocooned to where a great deal of dense energy is going to be coming out of your planet. Think about what happens during a solar eclipse. Why do you think we tell you basically just stay indoors until it's over? Because this is all part of very dense energies coming out of your planet. This is like a vacuum. And the vacuum itself is sucking out much of the dense energies, the heavy energies, upon your planet. So, we would recommend that you bless your space. That you light your candles. And that you have three days of quiet time. And of course you have food reserves during this particular time. So again, as we stated, we do not recommend you go outdoors. You stay within. It is even more recommended to go into the basements. To not have any of that particular form of outside energy, we will say, to come into your inner environment. You want to, again, keep out of the range relating to being outdoors. Do not go outdoors unless you feel you absolutely have to. But we certainly would not recommend that. Whether you decide to heed this advice or not is up to you. But that is what we recommend. Some may ask, Adronis, it is said that if we go outside, we will die. Is this true? If you have longer exposures to going outside and staying outside, it is a possibility. That's how intense this energy is. It's like being in a vacuum. And it is a great deal of energy. It will basically, in that sense, create a great draining of energy upon yourself when you're outdoors. Now, you have to understand that many of your ancient civilizations have had similar experiences to this. Not to the idea of feeling that there was a planetary mitosis, but the aspect of natural Polar shifts have happened in the ancient past. And they were aware that there were three days of darkness. They lived through it. And they basically stayed within caves or within dwellings for that time. They did not go outside. They prepared for it. This is being said to you right now as a means of preparation. That's why this is being revealed it is not the idea in that sense that the Creator herself is going to say, no, we're not going to tell you, it's just going to hit you without warning. No. There was a time when you could not discover when this particular occurrence was going to happen. But this is what's happening right now. 
He is giving you 18 years notice. So as we stated, everything always has a small momentum of changing. But as it exists right now, no, this is within the high 90s of percentages. So when you are experiencing the three days of darkness, our advice, be prepared, have foodstuffs, stay indoors, meditate and work within yourselves. Bring a great deal of love towards yourself and to the entire planet during this time. Because when you come out of the third density earth, after the three days of darkness is done, you're going to experience a very different planet. There will be less people on it. Because more of them will go to fourth density earth. Those that stay behind in third density earth will notice that there has been less people. However, much in regards to the continuity of what will happen during that time is that many may actually transition during that time. And again, when they're transitioning, as we've stated, it's the idea that they are moving into a fourth density body. Some of you may actually in that sense have your physical vessels in the third density expire. Which means that you will, to use an Abraham Hicks quote, croak. Not everybody. But those again that go to fourth density will leave their third density bodies behind. Some will come in and be vanished from the earth of the third density and either go to the fourth density or perhaps a higher dimensional sphere. Depends upon the person. But this is what we're telling you right now. So if you want to share this with others, let it be so. Nonetheless, we are the first to share with Brad through his angels, through us, to let you know that right now it is slated that the year 2037 will be the year of the three days of darkness and will be the year of planetary mitosis and will be the year of the splitting of worlds and will be the year of the rainbow bridge for many to go upon fourth density. Those that do go will be on the heart-centered path and the Divine Mother will ensure that those that are meant to be on fourth density earth will be there. We thank you for this interaction. We will now conclude and return to the conduit. May the essence of the divine creator be with you all. Goodbye for now. <sighs> Holy shit, guys. Oh my God. You know, this, wow. I'm blown away, as, as, as I'm sure many of you are as well, too. Like, I'm just feeling like my face is just all red as a bead right now. I'm, I'm shocked by this. I'm very, very surprised, okay? Um, Arav asks, uh, what type of consciousness stays on third density? People that are in their solar plexus, right? People that are in the aspect of battling between the self and the ego, right? People who are very much into the materialism. Guys, if you haven't looked into Dolores Cannon's work, start doing that, okay? Dolores Cannon sums it up pretty well. You want to be able to transcend your karma. You want to clear that out. You want to make yourself as light as possible. You want to do emotional work. You want to clear out the traumas within yourself. You're clearing out karma and you are making yourself light enough to go to the journey. Again, many of us will go through the journey in a different way. But again, as Dolores Cannon has said as well too, is that those who are very much into negativity, those who are into greed, manipulation, right? Everything about being completely attached to this material world will remain with what they have created, okay? Look into Dolores Cannon's work. She talks about this and she does a great job of it as well too. Adronis has said the same thing. The times when uh, Dolores Cannon was still alive here, he was sharing the exact same thing. He's saying, you need to clear out your karma. You need to work with your emotions. You need to harmonize yourself, okay? Guys, I have talked about this so many times. I've been talking about this for the past 10 years, okay? If you're new to my work, go to my YouTube channel, okay? Go to youtube.com slash user slash self-empowerment TV. It's a whole load of videos that talk about fourth density, how to get to fourth density, what's required to go to fourth density, there's a lot of people, again, that share some really great information on fourth density as well, too, okay? 
if you're new to this, you got to get uh, organized. You need to get familiarized with this. Okay, you need to take this seriously. So we basically have an 18 year preparation time. Okay, so like I said, I know Adrana says something different, but I said, you know what, guys, take this or leave it. I can't guarantee that 2037 will be the year, even though I know Adrana says different. I know my angels say different. I know my guidance says different. They are almost hanging their hats on this and saying 2037 is the year of the planetary mitosis, is the year of the three days of darkness, is the year of moving into fourth density earth for those that are in their heart-centered alignment when they are here and they're living by this and everything about themselves comes from here and they start working with love. Okay, love, compassion, forgiveness, joy, community, helping people out, not being selfish, but starting to work together with others and bringing that energy together is what's important. Okay, so yes, like I said, check out Dolores Cannon's work. She's excellent. She shared a lot of information, but again, I might even put this on YouTube as well too because this is a big special announcement. But again, um, thank you everybody for tuning into this broadcast. I wanted to share this because, like I said, it was a big shock to me. It still is a big shock to me. It still is a surprise. Like, again, from my own perspective, I'll say, you know, don't hang your hat on this 100% because things can always still change. Like I said, my guidance will say something else, but that's what I'm saying, okay? You can dismiss this. You can throw this away. You don't have to believe it if you don't want to. It's your life. You have to decide, okay? Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll go ahead and wrap up this broadcast now, and I'll speak to you again in another perspective of the now. Take care.